land of the free, home of the broad spectrum of climates, the United States of America, including Hawaii and Alaska, spans the tropical, subtropical, temperate, and frozen zones. The four largest cities in the United States of America, New York, Los Angeles, Chicago, and Dallas, are geographically and climactically distinct from one another. The city of Dallas, located at the eastern edge of the vast humid subtropical region of the southeastern United States, enjoys mild winters and extremely hot summers, averaging over 30 degrees Celsius 86 Fahrenheit in midsummer. You'll see a full spectrum of monthly Celsius and Fahrenheit temperatures on the graphic that appeared on your screen for Dallas. Like Dallas, all of the major cities in the southeastern United States are at the hotter end of the humid subtropical climate type. Houston, Texas, to the south, is even hotter than Dallas. Atlanta, further east, is a few degrees cooler than Dallas year-round. All of these deep south cities experience high humidity and frequent thunderstorms in summer. The one state in Dixieland that is not completely humid subtropical is the state of Florida. The southern tip of Florida, including the city of Miami, enjoys a tropical monsoon climate with year-round warmth that never drops below 18 degrees Celsius, 64 Fahrenheit. But watch out for those hurricanes June through November. The winter non-hurricane season is very comfortable, with midwinter January averages in Miami just below 20 Celsius, 68 Fahrenheit. North, up the Atlantic coast. We arrive in New York City, which straddles the dividing line between the continental climates of New England and the Midwest region and the humid subtropical climate of the Southeast. New York City has a humid subtropical climate, but on the colder end when compared to Dallas. January averages just above zero degrees Celsius, 32 Fahrenheit, and if it were three degrees cooler, the city would be classified as continental. The city experiences four distinct seasons, as you can see in the temperature spreads shown in the graphic. Like New York City, the national capital of Washington, D.C., shown here, and the major northeastern cities of Philadelphia and Boston are humid subtropical, but close to a continental climate. Moving into the Midwest, winter temperatures drop. The city of Chicago, just off of Lake Michigan, has a hot summer humid continental climate with winter averages just above minus 4 Celsius 24 Fahrenheit and spring, summer, and autumn comparable to New York City. Like Chicago, the major Midwestern cities of Detroit, here, and of Minneapolis, over here in Minnesota, have a hot summer humid continental climate. While Chicago and Detroit's winter temperatures are somewhat moderated by their locations on the Great Lakes, Minneapolis has no such proximity and has colder winters than these cities. Moving into the western United States, the climate dries and begins to resemble the famous scenes out of cowboy western movies. Here we find the state of Utah and Salt Lake City. Here just southeast of the Great Salt Lake. Salt Lake City lies in the Great Basin, a vast inland watershed kept mostly dry by the rain shadow effects of California's Sierra Nevada mountain range seen here. Salt Lake City has slightly wetter winters 
than most areas of the Great Basin further west. This winter precipitation, combined with a dry summer, puts it in the hot Mediterranean climate category. Midsummer temperatures in Salt Lake City average above 26 Celsius 79 Fahrenheit, while winters are cool and snowy. Still in the western United States, we head across the Rocky Mountains to the city of Colorado Springs, just south of Denver, Colorado. Colorado Springs has a cold, semi-arid climate with sunshine most of the year. Its location near the Rocky Mountains results in occasional Chinook winds which burst over the mountains to rapidly warm the city on cool winter days. Midwinter in Colorado Springs dips just below freezing on average. Midsummers are a warm 22 Celsius, 72 Fahrenheit. South, into the state of New Mexico and the city of Albuquerque. This city shares Colorado Springs' cold, semi-arid climate, but is three degrees warmer in midsummer and midwinter, which keeps winter averages above zero degrees Celsius, 36 Fahrenheit. Now west, into the state of Arizona and its capital of Phoenix. The city of Phoenix is located in the Sonoran Desert, which stretches west into California and south into Mexico. This desert city has a hot desert climate, with summer averages approaching a sweltering 35 degrees Celsius, 95 Fahrenheit. Autumns and springs are both hot and winters are warm. All months receive little rain, and Phoenix enjoys its status as the sunniest big city on earth. Northwest out of the Sonoran Desert and into the Mojave Desert is the state of Nevada and the bright light city of Las Vegas. Like Phoenix, Las Vegas has a hot desert climate with mild winters and oppressively hot summers. On account of its Mojave Desert location, Las Vegas is extremely dry, with the winter rainy season averaging only three or four days of rain per month and the remaining months of the year averaging between zero and two days of rain. Moving west from Nevada into California, the Mojave Desert ends as we cross the San Andreas Fault and the coastal mountains of California into the second largest city in the United States, Los Angeles. Los Angeles lies in a basin bordered by mountains to the east and the Pacific Ocean to the west, which greatly moderates the climate compared to inland desert regions. Typical of warm Mediterranean cities, Los Angeles summer and early autumn are very comfortable and dry, with July, August, and September enjoying almost exclusively sunny days, averaging around 21 degrees Celsius, 69 Fahrenheit. Mild winters and springs bring in the rains and the Pineapple Express, but monthly averages don't exceed six days of rain. Some regions in the sprawling metropolitan city of Los Angeles have microclimates with slightly hotter summers, bringing these areas into the hot Mediterranean climate type. Moving north, along the Pacific Ocean, the United States' key coastal cities of San Francisco, California, Portland, Oregon, and Seattle, Washington, all enjoy a comfortable, warm Mediterranean climate. Further north, past the Canadian province of British Columbia, we come to the state of Alaska, by far the largest state in the United States of America. Alaska experiences several different cool, cold, and frigid climates from its southern oceanic fringes to its north arctic tundra, but most of the state has a subarctic climate. Into the state's largest city of Anchorage, whose location on a coastal lowland backing onto high mountains 
has an important effect on its climate. The city experiences the rare dry summer subarctic climate type. Long cold winters give way to dry summers with temperatures peaking around 15 degrees Celsius, 59 Fahrenheit in midsummer. From the extremes of Alaska, we go to the opposite extreme in the United States of America's only tropical state of Hawaii, just south of the Tropic of Cancer. On the big island of Hawaii, right here, the city of Hilo. This lush city has a tropical rainforest climate. It is one of the world's wettest cities, with most months receiving more than 20 days of rain. Temperatures here in Hilo in all months average between 20 Celsius, 68 Fahrenheit, and 25 Celsius, 77 Fahrenheit. Moving slightly west to the island of Oahu, the climate changes considerably. The city of Honolulu has a hot, semi-arid climate, with only about one-tenth of the rain that falls on nearby Hilo. However, the two cities share hot weather year-round, and Honolulu's combination of year-round minimal rainfall and a hot climate helped to make it the worldwide tourist attraction that it is. Now, if you have a request for which country we should tour next, please leave it in the comments below. And do support this channel by sharing, subscribing, and getting the alerts as our tour of Mother Earth continues.